Hey guys, and this is GoPro Hero 3 Vids, and this is part. Uh, this is lesson one on understanding your new GoPro. Basically, I'm just doing a quick videos on uh, different settings. I know GoPro can be pretty overwhelming. Um, no, one thing to note before you get into these videos, I'm assuming that you are just a random Joe Blow that picked up a GoPro, and you, of course, had to get the best, so you got the Hero 3 Black. So um, this is the Hero 3 black uh, lesson so some of the things won't be the same in uh, the silver and white editions but uh, I'm not going to be getting really into the higher resolution videos because not really those are pretty much non-existent in uh, in availability to the general public um, and I assume if you know much about those then you don't really need this video to begin with all right so getting into it, here's what your GoPro looks like right out of the box. All right, uh, you've got 1440 on 48 frames per second. We're gonna shuffle right over here by pressing the mode button, go over to the wrench. And right on here, you've got the first thing on here, video settings, woohoo. Resolution is the first thing that comes up. So here we're gonna cycle through the resolutions here. I'll get it up to the top again. Okay, so we got 4K cinema. This is basically a super, super, super clear resolution. But um, if you're just the average Joe Blow, you probably won't be able to work with this because it's just pretty much non-existent on our level, okay? Same with 4K. 2.7K is still non-existent, really. Um, but, you know, uh, I'm assuming you're just a random person that wants to do some filming, so I'm just going to cycle through this really quick, and then I'll go into detail. Uh, you've got 1440, 1080, 960, 720, and WVGA. Alright, so elaborating a little bit more, here's 4K Cinema. Uh, basically, the only frame rate 4K Cinema can film in is 12 frames per second, so that's going to be like a really choppy video. It's going to be like one of those old videos. It's not going to be smooth. It's going to be choppy. It'll be super clear, but it'll be choppy. Unless you're doing a time lapse and you're going to speed it up uh, later on in the editing software. I'll do a video on that some other time. So that, that adds a lot of style to your video, but that's all 4K is going to be good for. All right, so moving down, uh, vice versa with this 4K, except it has 15 frames per second instead of 12. 2.7. Uh, films in 24 frames per second and it will be jerky but if since it's a POV cam you know it might get a little bit jumpy because you're moving around so much but still that that resolution is pretty much non-existent to you and me for as far as capability so you're just gonna have to convert it down anyway uh, and then you've got 2.7k in 30 frames per second that's pretty much a normal frame rate uh, aside from the crazy resolution, but that's pretty much normal frame rate. So you could, you know, you could do some biking or normal stuff you would do with that, and that would work out fine. You just have a really, really high resolution video. Scrolling down a little bit further, here's 1440. You've got a couple mode selections here. You have uh, 48 frames per second, 24 frames per second, and 30 frames per second. 48 is just going to be uh, a bit more smooth and uh, and uh, just, you know, it'll follow a lot better. And I'll do a demonstration of that now. Okay, so that was 48 frames per second. I'm going to do 30 frames per second now. Okay, so that was 30 frames per second, and now I'm going to do 24 frames per second. Okay, so that was 24 frames per second, so now you kind of get the gist of the differences, maybe. And uh, that was 1440. Now going down to 1080, you've got these frame rates. you got uh, the same 24, 30, and 48, but now we also have an added 60 frames per second. Basically what 60 frames per second is going to let you do is it's going to have a really smooth video. But if you want to have the ability to slow it down just a teens, you know, if you're biking down the mountain and you crash and you want to show people a little bit of a 
slightly slow motion, you can uh, slow that down a little bit. That's what I find that helpful for. But uh, basically, you're not going to be able to slow it down a lot, just a little bit. Uh, pretty much for everyday stuff, film in 1080, 30 frames per second. Wide. You can also change the field of view once you hit 1080. You can change uh, from wide to medium, and so it doesn't look quite as GoPro-y. And you can also change to narrow, which looks almost like a completely normal camera, except the only thing is you've got a little bit of noise. And I'll demonstrate each of these. So here's wide, 1080, 30. Here's medium, 1080, 30. And here's narrow, 1080, 30. So basically, I always just film in 1080, 30 frames per second, in wide. That's where you're going to get your really clear picture. Here you have 960. Uh, it films in 48 or yeah, 48 frames per second normally, but you can also go up to 100 frames per second, which is going to let you get a little bit of slow motion with the higher resolution in there, and I'll demonstrate that right now. Okay, so that was pretty cool. Uh, now I'm going to demonstrate the 48 frames per second. So you know, nothing special there. But uh, for the uh, 100 frames per second in the 980, that's pretty handy. Going down to the 720, uh, you have 120 frames per second. Always with the higher frame rates on this camera, the higher the number, the slower the motion, basically. All right. So now we're going to play this in slow motion. So that's the slow motion 720. And you know, you can't really change your field. Well, you can do narrow field of view, but I would just keep it out wide because you're already losing that resolution as you don't need to add noise onto that also. And then we have WVGA. Oh boy, this brings us back. Uh, so basically, this lets us shoot at 240 frames per second, which is really slow motion for this camera anyway. I, I can't really believe they packed that into this tiny little camera, but they, they managed to do it. So now I'm going to demonstrate that. All right, so that was pretty cool. All right, so now we're just gonna move over. Oops. So that was just a quick cycle through, or quickish cycle through, of some of the modes on the GoPro Hero 3. Next time we'll discuss some of the photo resolutions and uh, settings, and then we'll move on again.